Max Clayton is Altrincham's latest signing, and I'm glad to say we've got Max with us here in the boardroom at the J. Davidson Stadium. Uh, Max, a very warm welcome to Altrincham. How does it feel to be here, and uh, what, what are you hoping to achieve uh, in Altrincham colours? No, it's 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 great to be here. To be honest, it's great to get it um, sorted as quick as it has. Really, I just spoke to the manager a few days back, and it's been it's been fairly swift. But um, I've sort of I, I'm 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 from, I'm only half an hour away in Nantwich, so I, I obviously follow the local sort of clubs and obviously have one eye on Altering Gum in the playoffs and stuff and um, sort of willing them over the line really because in my head I thought, you know what, that could be a that could be a good for me, that get, getting in there. And then obviously as soon as he went up, I, I sort of, I got hold of the, the manager quickly and just said, look, I, w- I was keen to come. It, I was the one that actually reached out to the manager because I'm I'm that desperate to play football and say so now I'm in a I'm in a position where I can do that so I'm I'm um I'm really pleased with that and say so I'm really happy to be here. Just so people at Altrincham fans know uh, Max uh, you've uh, really kind of uh, taken people's eye at a young age you've played for England youth up to under nineteen level, I think, haven't you? And and you yeah. you played for Crew and Bolton and Blackpool yeah. uh, as, as a striker, as a goal scorer. Yeah. Um, so clearly, you've got a lot to offer. Yeah, no, I think so. Yeah, I mean, if I'm if I'm fit, my, my problem has always been sort of is having the amount of games to prove that. If you know what I mean, if I've always, I've been hit with um, quite a few bad injuries, but um, yeah, I've, I've I had a I've had a I sort of I came on the scene fast and and sort of. I felt like I left my marker quite early, which is important, and exactly why I'm. I've been out of football now for say the last year or so, but at the end of the day, I'm, I've still got an opportunity here because of what I've done in the past, I suppose. Um, say so I had a, 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 a good few years at the start, a really good few years, um, so yeah, no, and hopefully I can sort of reach them heights here. I'm sure uh, Aussie fans listening to that will will be excited at having a player of your calibre here, but they may be wondering, well, why uh, is Max um, joining a club in the National League? Yeah. Now, there's a simple answer to that because you, you had a couple of quite bad uh, hamstring injuries. Well, yeah. one particularly, if you could maybe just tell us a little bit about that and why it sort of stopped you in your tracks, if you like. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously in sort of my plan growing up, I, I, I would always, I'm sort of thinking of going further probably championship well I, I played in the championship when I was when I was 19 so I sort of you'd, you'd obviously want to stay at that level and I was I, w- I knew that I was more than capable of playing there but unfortunately for me um, yeah I'd, I've had a couple of um, a very serious injuries so with the hamstring one um, that's happened twice unfortunately for me it's happened once at Bolton and then it recurred when I was at Blackpool so that's kept me out both times for eight months each time so that's sort of stopped me in my tracks really um so yeah so last year i'd left blackpool in last season with that injury so i had to have last year out of football it sort of fell at the wrong wrong time for me to get a new contract at blackpool um they were keen to keep me but it was sort of bad business in the end if you know what i mean um but yeah so i had um last year i invested in my own private physio to get myself right and um Luckily, he's been he's been amazing with me and got me in a really good place again. So, a place where now I actually feel like I can really compete. Yeah, that's great to hear, uh, Max. To put it into context, uh, people think, well, out of football a year, but but what it was, you had a first hamstring injury that needed sorry, the first time uh, surgery on the hamstring. Yeah. Uh, a little bit later, it needed a second operation. Yeah. That second operation was successful and has sorted out the problem. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And. You then, when you were kind of ready to start up again, we've run into COVID, yeah. and there's no club to join because there's no football being played. Exactly. So yeah. you know it's unfortunate circumstances, but the fact of the matter is, you're fighting fit now. Yeah. You've invested in your own physio to get you super fit, yeah. and you're ready to go again. Yeah. Well, I invested because I still knew I had so much to give to the game. You know what I mean? It was it was it was tough because when you when you when you're out of it for so long and you and you know you're, you're capable of playing, it's that. For me, there was it was a no brainer. I, I was going to pay the money to do that because I wanted to get back into football so keenly, and I was I wasn't precious about being at a certain level. For me, it was about playing football, and that's exactly why I'm here because I've got the opportunity to do that here and in a team that's that suits my style of play. And for me, it's a, it doesn't matter where I've been and what I've done. 
like at this stage in my career, this is right for me now. So, yeah. I mean, a fit Max Clayton is going to be a boon for uh, any club yeah. in the National League. And, and Altrincham are fortunate because you happen to know Phil Parkinson. So that yeah. was instrumental in you coming here to sort yeah. of start the process of proving yourself again. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. I think it's when when you've, you've like you said, I run, run into COVID sort of, it killed me really because I, I was sort of fit six months ago, probably. But um, it's, say it's probably not a, a bad thing really. I've had more time to, to get myself in, in better shape even more so. So um, yeah, no, I, knowing the, the manager was, was important for me really. It was quite, um, it was quite an easy one. I say when you, when, when Ultram got promoted, it was sort of, I felt like it was the easiest fit for me. I knew straight away that, that I, want, I wanted to come. I thought it'd be the best place to get, to get back in sort of, um, I knew that my levels would be, I, I could prove myself here. I'd be, I obviously be good enough here, though I'd like to think I was. And knowing the manager as well, that's that element of sort of, you feel loved again a bit, you know what I mean? It's that, that's a nice feeling as well. And you know, Phil, because you, your brother plays for Nantwich or did, yeah. or did when Phil's manager there, yeah, that's, yeah, that's it, it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. So my brother was a, a player at Nantwich under um, Parky, so, um, yeah, no, he he always um, he always spoke so highly of him, and and he did well at Nantwich as well. And obviously, the last three years here, he's done exceptional. So, I always knew he was a straight up guy, and like um, I got on well with him. And said so last sort of week or so that we've been in touch, it's been it's been really easy, which is exactly what I need now. I need um, someone that's got confidence in me and someone that makes me feel um, loved, really. And um, yeah, you're a striker, obviously. Yeah. Um, there are all sorts of different types of strikers. What what can yeah. Aussie fans expect from you? If you you're the star yeah, player. Um, I think when I first came through at Crew, I think um, Dario always wanted to be me to be to spearheading it. Really, he wanted me to be right up there. But I always sort of saw myself as probably a little bit off the the top man, really, because I always like to get involved in the play. Like mm -hmm. I, I, I sort of. I got a bit restless being up there and not not getting as many kicks as I wanted to because I knew that I I was capable on the ball. I sort of felt like he he, he stopped me doing that, but for good reason. Obviously, he, he what he knew I could score goals, so it's not. A, I, I don't um, blame him for that. He had his idea for me, but in my head, I felt like I was I was a bit different to that. I sort of felt like I'm like a second striker, really. Yeah, well, that that might be quite su well suited here because you, yeah. you probably know jo Jordan Hume operates yeah, yeah, very well. Course, it's yeah. the the, the lone striker with yeah. a, a number ten, if you like, just behind. Yeah, you know, exactly. It's a system yeah. that works really well. So yeah, uh, no, that, he, that he, he's had a he's had a good couple of years, hasn't he? Does that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but the but you know you, you're working on your fitness. That's absolutely 100. percent And in all the work you've done, yeah. your hamstrings felt fine, is it? Yeah, no, it's, it it just takes with with an injury like that. I say it's the 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 running's the the hard is the big step, you know what I mean? I'm, I've mm. done an extended period now where I've been running for a long time, so I'm I'm well conditioned now. It just takes a long time to feel comfortable with it. Mm. I say it's all because I've had two operations in the in the same area, sort of like my my uh, what do you call it now? My uh, uh, sort of my body's different now. It's, mm. it's not it's not as it was in mm. terms of if you looked at it on a on a scan or whatever. It, it it moves differently now, but right. sort of I've I've adapted to that now mm -hmm. because I've had the time to do it. Sort of when I was playing with the injury, I sort of I caused my body a lot of trauma. Mm -hmm. So that's why I I just took a conscious effort to to not even push myself back in. Mm -hmm. I say I could have come back in probably earlier, really, but obviously because of COVID. But even before that, I was probably fit to come back in. But mm. I sort of, I really took a step back and listened to my body because I wanted to come back and make an impact. I didn't, I didn't want to come back and be, oh, he's all right, you know mm. what I mean? I wanted to come back and be fit, and like now I am. Uh, and what are the memories of uh, those early days uh, playing for England, England at the different age levels? Yeah, I mean that that's a, a great achievement in itself. Yeah, incredible. Yeah, like um, it was. It I had a, probably had four or five years at it really, um, from fifteen to twenty. I think I played once with the twenty on the twenties as well. Um, but yeah, no, it was incredible, really, because um, it was it was every squad as well, which was it was amazing. Me and me and Nick both both were getting picked, and it was it was brilliant for crew and sort of there was not many of us that really played for England, sort of like Dean Ashton, mm. me Nick, and it was maybe Seth Johnson, and it was, like, it was only a few of us. So obviously, I was I was really proud to do that, and 
to do that playing for crew as well i thought that was quite special because when you go away you, you're dealing with players like my age group was incredible i had raheem sterling jordan pickford eric dyer like big players that are playing for big clubs and then for me nick to be coming from crew was a real real scope for crew really with, with these guys who were playing in the england uh, age group teams with with the same ones uh, as you yeah we say Nick, Nick Powell, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Um, those names, w w it, was that the age level you were at? Were yeah. They? Yeah, so, right. So, yeah, they, they, we were 94 age group. So, my age group was, we had a really, I say, we had a really strong age group and went to the uh, World Cup together and uh, got to the quarterfinals of the World Cup and probably should have done more, really. We had, a, mm. we had such a good, um, such a good group. And then for sort of me to be a mainstay in that squad for so long, uh, yeah, it was. It was incredible, really. Like that's why it, um, I know I know what I'm capable of. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like mm -hmm. so we're talking a long time ago now, but um, sort of you take the injuries out of it, I'm I'm still that player. If you know what I mean? Yeah. Which is quite exciting, really. What What was it like playing with with some of the names you just reeled off, who were kind of house, household names? Yeah. No, it, I can remember when I first went. It was it was quite intimidating, really, because the the sort of i say coming from crew you, you shouldn't feel like it but you feel like whether, whether you're out of place a little bit if you like mm. should i be here it's but a level or two down yeah if you feel I, I, you shouldn't feel like that but yeah it was um i say during the time th these lads were breaking their first teams as well so like so at the start that like raheem sterling wasn't in the first team when when we first met when we were in the mm. 15 16s but sort of quickly he was in liverpool's first team and then we'd meet up the next day and he'd been, we'd been the same squad, like being the 19 squad or whatever. It yeah. was, it was really strange. They were incredible players, like yeah. really, really. Well, did incredible. they stand out then? Did you look at the last yeah. well, Ryan the, Sterling, a few others, I think. He was. I remember that he was the first one that I thought, that's the standard. Like I remember thinking, we trained at Charlton for England um, at their academy, and um, we joined up me and um, Nick Powell, and that was one of the first day where I thought, yeah, I'm gonna have to pull my socks up here. Yeah. Like, I remember thinking that was the standard. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. You you there you there that much? I spent that much time on them all. You soon you soon you soon up to the standard. You put training with better players. You're gonna get better. Like and and we me and um, me and Nick, we we did really well for England. To be fair, we had mm. we had a really good spell together, and we played a quite an important part. Like a lot of the games I played, I started most of them really. Um. So. I must have been doing something. Right. Absolutely, yeah, and, and and at club level as well. To be fair, playing for Crew and for well, when you left Crew, didn't you have trials with Wolves and Sunderland? Well, it was, it, they weren't trials really. Basically, I was, my contract was up at Crew, sort of negotiations had broke down. They they offered me a, a new three year contract, but at the time I wasn't, I didn't think it was the right choice for me. Unfortunately, um, it sort of fell at the wrong point, so my contract ended up being run down at the end of the season and then it was just a ca case of sort of waiting then so mm. Wolves wanted me Sunderland wanted me and Bolton wanted me but and then I wasn't I wasn't at crew like I was waiting to be sold mm. so I went into these clubs while they were negotiating with crew basically right. so I went to Wolves when they were negotiating with crew to sign me so I was there for a couple of weeks and but crew sort of they sort of stopped that move. They wanted more money, basically, unfortunately. Mm. And then the same thing happened at Sunderland and the same thing happened at Bolton. So, mm. But in the end, um, we managed to... Um, Bolton offered, I think, the best deal for crew. So that managed to get over the line. That's why I went to Bolton. But the other two were were really, really keen. Like, it was... it, Especially w Wolves was on the brink, really. Mm. But, um, yeah, I think in the end, crew, crew um, they had to get... They, they they wanted good money for me and I, I don't blame them like being in the first team at 16 and mm. and sort of playing for England that they they were more within their rights to do that it's just unfortunate that it, it came to came to the point it did because I I absolutely loved it there yeah well, I think it was listed as 300,000 pounds Bolton Bolton mm. paid uh, mm. for I guess you're it was an age related thing probably uh, yeah well yeah, it's just because yeah. it was compensation yes like exactly they, yeah, yeah, yeah they quite. couldn't um said they couldn't get a fee for me so it yeah. was just sort of Getting as much as as, yeah. the, as they could. Sure, uh, we can't let you leave Crew just yet, Max, because we've got to ask you about your first senior goal for Crew. Go on, tell us about that. Um, Who was yeah. it against? 
um, against uh, one of your rivals, I think. Go on. Um, Macclesfield. Macclesfield, it was. Yeah, it was a. It was a. Byron Moore, he, he flew down the wing and sort of it was on a counter attack, I think, and um, I sort of smelt blood and, and I knew it was coming. And I was sort of at the far post, like running in, running into the box, and he, he's, he's whipped one in, an unbelievable ball, sort of bounced in front of me, and I dive and header into the bottom corner. Incredible that. Yeah, so that was probably just 17 there, I reckon. And that was for a 1 0 win, so it was the winning goal, the only yeah, goal. Yeah, it the was. Game. That, that, well, that season was incredible, really, for me. I think I scored. I, I, I think I scored five or six goals, but they were all winners. Like yeah. they all they, they made such a difference to the promotion push. If you know what I mean. Well, you, it, that was that was something like nine or ten years ago. I think you you or yeah. nine years ago, eight or nine or something. Um, yeah, nine years perhaps. Uh, you wouldn't have realised the significance then, but I can tell you now that that, that will end day to all your supporters. Yeah, yeah. No end. And yeah. if you could possibly repeat the trick in the coming season. Yeah, I hope so. I so, hope much, so. so much the better. Well, anything, even a tap, a tapping will do. It would, it would, don't worry. Yeah, Diving would. head was pretty special. Yeah, yeah, indeed, absolutely. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, well, Max, it's great to welcome you to the club and um, yeah, I, I hope it goes, we all hope it goes well for you. Um, great to hear that you can't wait to get started yeah. uh, and we can't wait to see you out there on the pitch and an ulti shirt on thanks very much for your time but for now no, i enjoyed Max. it enjoyed it um, it's um it's good to be here i'm looking forward to it